Today I'm going to show you a unique trapper tip. This is actually a trick that we use down here in the south. Now following tracks, knowing what they are, deer, turkey, human, that's all good and great. And you can find lots of resources on that. But knowing when that creature or when that human being actually went through the trail is another science altogether. Now down here in the south we have this plant and it's right here below me and I want to illustrate this right now. This is called the touch me not plant, uh, Mimosa pudica I believe. Now this has leaves all year round, little tiny leaflets. Uh, the flowers here in the spring and early summer are little puff balls. So they're pretty easy to identify and these are all over our fields from West Texas down to South all the way up to Louisiana. We find these all over the place. Now the unique trait characteristic these two guys have are that if you touch them they're thigmotrophic, which means when I touch this leaf right here, instantly, as you can see, we touch some more right here, they start to curl in and they flatten immediately. So they get smaller and smaller. Let me show you that one more time. All right. And you can see those leaves curl up and it's a cool little characteristic. Now what that means is that as creatures move through these trails, and you're right on a game trail right now, you can tell that something actually moved through here. So if the print's right there, you can't tell whether it's a day or a week old sometimes. This will tell you how long ago they actually came through. Now these typically will open back up within 10 minutes, so you have about a 10 minute window. Uh, you can definitely tell when you're getting close to that creature because you're going to find more and more of the plants that are actually gone off and triggered. Uh, if you're not quite sure of uh, exact times, you can always go ahead and trigger it and time it out. Sometimes they're going to be a little faster, sometimes up to 20 and 30 minutes. It just depends on your plants and the time of year, so figure that out. But if you're tracking things, even when you don't have a game trail, I can see where a human or a cow or any kind of creature has actually gone through a field just by keeping my eyes open and walking through and looking for the uh, various leaves that have been triggered. So, guys, this is your trick. This is something that most people don't ever even pay attention to. Like and subscribe, and as always, till next time. All right, just to give you an idea of how easy it is to identify these guys, take a look. Here's one of the uh, flowers. You'll see those again in uh, late spring. But check out the runners. So, little runners. Little spiky little vines going across the tops of the grass. If you could see this real close, you can see all those leaves, all those little leaflets, all the way down. An entire forest of them, all this undergrowth, and it goes all the way back to the bushes. Giant patch of these guys. And the great thing is, is that these runners are like trip wires. So you hit that right there, and all the leaves, all the way down, they all trigger. So you're looking at it really good as far as uh, detecting motion and movement. And that'll give you a good idea of uh, how long ago something came across, if anything at all.